A paten, or discos, is a small plate, usually made of silver or gold, used to hold Eucharistic bread which is to be consecrated during the Mass. It is generally used during the liturgy itself, while the reserved sacrament are stored in the tabernacle in a ciborium. <laughs> Western usage in many Western liturgical denominations, the paten is typically either a simple saucer-like plate or a low bowl. A smaller style paten will often have a depression that allows it to securely sit on top of the chalice, as shown in the illustration on the left here. <laughs> Roman Rite Topic. The general instruction of the Roman Missal lays down rules for patens. Sacred vessels should be made from precious metal. If they are made from metal that rusts or from a metal less precious than gold, they should generally be gilded on the inside. However, provisions for vessels made from non precious metals are made as well, provided they are made from other solid materials which, in the common estimation in each region, are considered precious or noble. The communion plate is by some called a paten. The English translation of the general instruction of the Roman Missal approved by the English-speaking Episcopal Conferences and confirmed by the Holy See uses communion plate, not paten, to speak of this object, which in the official Latin liturgical norms is called a patina, while a paten is called a patina. <laughs> Protestant rites Patents are also used among Anglicans and Lutherans. In the United Methodist Church, during the order for the ordination of elders, each elder receives a stole, along with a chalice and patent, from the bishop after the part of the liturgy in which the bishop lays his hands and prays over the ministerial candidates. This is because the newly ordained elders are now able to celebrate the sacraments, such as Holy Communion. In the Methodist service of the Holy Communion, the bread is placed upon a paten during the offertory and once again after it consecrated, specifically following the fraction. The paten, along with the clase, lays on the altar during the celebration of the Holy Eucharist. <laughs> Eastern Christian usage in the Byzantine Rite Orthodox and Byzantine Rite Catholic churches, the paten is called a discos and is elevated by a stand or foot permanently attached underneath. The discos is usually more ornate than its Latin Rite counterpart, and must always be made of gold or at least be gold-plated. The discos may be engraved with an icon of Jesus Christ, the Nativity of Christ, the Cross, or most frequently the Theotokos. When a discos is made, it is usually accompanied by a matching asterisk small, folding metal stand used to keep the air from disturbing the particles on the discos, a spoon for distributing Holy Communion to the faithful, and a spear used to cut the lamb during the liturgy of preparation. For Christians of historically Eastern Church families, the discos symbolizes the ever-Virgin Mary, who received God the Word into her womb and gave birth to Him, as well as the tomb of Christ, which received His body after the crucifixion and from which He resurrected. Topic. Divine Liturgy Topic. During the Divine Liturgy it is not only the Lamb host that is placed on the discos, but also particles to commemorate the Theotokos, the saints, the living and the departed. Thus, on the discos is represented the entire Church, the Church militant and the Church triumphant, arrayed around Christ. At the great entrance the deacon carries the discos, holding the foot of the discos at his forehead. He then kneels at the side of the holy table, and the priest takes the discos from him and places it on the antimension. During the anaphora, only the lamb is consecrated. At Holy Communion, the clergy partake of their portions of the lamb directly from the discos, but for the communion of the faithful, the remainder of the lamb is cut into small portions and placed in the chalice, from which the priest distributes communion using the spoon. After communion, the deacon holds the discos above the holy chalice and recites hymns of the resurrection. Then he wipes the remaining particles for the saints, living and departed into the chalices saying the words, Wash away, O Lord, the sins of all those here commemorated, by thy precious blood, through the prayers of all thy saints. Sometimes, when a bishop celebrates the liturgy, a smaller discos is prepared for him with a small prosphoron from which he takes particles to commemorate the living and the departed before the great entrance. Other uses. 
Topic. During the consecration of a church, a discos is used to hold the relics of the saints which will be sealed in the holy table and antimension by the bishop. When a priest is ordained, a portion of the lamb will be placed on a small discos and given to him, as a sign of the sacred mysteries which are being entrusted to his care. Topic. Blessing and handling Topic. In the Russian tradition, there is a special liturgy of blessing used to sanctify a discos before its first use at liturgy. The discos may be blessed separately or together in a set with the other sacred vessels. The blessing is normally done immediately before beginning of the liturgy of preparation, after which the priest carries the discos into the sanctuary and begins the liturgy, using the newly blessed vessel in that liturgy. Up until the first time a discos is used in the divine liturgy it is considered to be an ordinary vessel, and may be touched by anyone. However, after having been used in the divine liturgy, a discos may be touched only by a deacon, priest or bishop. A subdeacon may touch the sacred vessels, but only if they are securely wrapped in cloth. When not in use, the chalice, discos, and all the sacred vessels should remain on the table of oblation prothesis, wrapped in their cloth bags either sitting on top and covered with a cloth, or stored securely in a cabinet built into the prothesis. Topic. Alexandrian Rite Topic. In the usage of the Alexandrian Rite, the discos usually has a flat bottom with no foot. Additionally, it has a raised edge, forming a relatively high rim, preventing particles of the offered elements from falling to the floor. Topic. See also Topic. Topic. References Topic. 